I want to talk to black voters for a second, specifically about democracy versus authoritarianism. Listen, if you look at the history of black people in America, and it's a 400 plus year history at this point, we experience authoritarianism. We know what it's like to be told you can't vote if you don't have a certain kind of ID. We know what it's, to what it's like to be told you'll get arrested and in fact get arrested if you're trying to register to vote. We know what it's like to actually be in jail or even cases like Meg Rivers in Mississippi getting killed for simply trying to register people to vote. And so we, as much as any other people in this country should understand what democracy is versus authoritarianism. Democracy means that we exercise the right to vote, to be civically engaged, because we understand when we do that, we help to transform this country. I'm gonna say it again, because of things like the civil rights movement, I'm a beneficiary, first generation college student. There's no career, there's no writing, nothing. If the civil rights movement hadn't happened, challenging the authoritarianism and saying we can be a better democracy if all people are actually involved in the process of this grand social experiment. So we got to understand democracy means everyone gets to participate fully. Authoritarianism means not everyone gets to participate and you just stay over there. One of the cornerstones of this experiment that we call the American democracy, because it is a grand experiment, is the peaceful transition of power. It's a cornerstone because people come into office and if they get voted out, they just move on. It's not people saying we're gonna fight at the polling places, we're gonna threaten people, there's gonna be violence, we're gonna have some sort of insurrection. It's actually saying we accept the results of this election and this is what makes us different than other parts of the world. When we sink down to that place of threatening people and bullying people, we're not able to take the moral high ground that we claim to have in this country or anywhere else in the world because we actually become what we've seen in other places. And so when I think about American democracy as an experiment, even with all the problems we've had through history, that transition has been really important. And when we threaten that, that says that we no longer even believe in this experiment called American democracy.